Welcome to our YouTube channel, Learn English with Hassan. Hi everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to, uh, to support us, like our videos and share our videos also with your family and friends. Welcome back. In this lesson, you learn the pronunciation and meaning of 10 words and 10 sentences and maybe more. All the words we are going to study today start with the letter D. Let's see the first word. The first word is down. 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 The opposite of up. Let's see it in a sentence. The trail led us down into the deep valley. The trail led us down into the deep valley. The trail led us down into the deep valley. The trail is the way in the forest. Led us, guided us down into the deep valley. That's the meaning of this sentence. So we are in nature. And we are walking on a way, on a trail, on a path down. We were descending into, we were going down into the deep, very deep valley. Valley where there is water. Let's go to the next word. The next word is draw, draw, draw. Some students pronounce W, they say draw. No, it's not correct, draw. So when we have A and W, we pronounce it just O, draw, draw, draw. Let's say it in a sentence. She used a pencil to draw a beautiful landscape on the blank canvas. She used a pencil to draw a beautiful landscape on the blank canvas. She used a pencil to draw a beautiful landscape on the blank canvas. She used, okay, she was holding in her hand a pencil and she was drawing, she was making a picture of a beautiful, amazing landscape nature on a blank canvas, on a blank tissue, a piece of cloth. So, she used a pencil to draw a beautiful landscape on the blank canvas. Let's go to the next word. The next word is dream, dream, dream. So, when we sleep, we dream. Some people, they don't dream or they don't remember their dreams at least. I dream of becoming a successful author and sharing my stories with the world. I dream of becoming a successful author and sharing my stories with the world. I dream of becoming a successful author and sharing my stories with the world. So his dream is to become a successful writer or author and to share his stories with all, of, with all the people around the world. So I dream of becoming a successful author and sharing my stories with the world. Let's go to the next word. The next word is dress. 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 Dress is to put on clothes. And it means okay, also a piece of cl uh, clothes. So here she, it means a piece of clothes. So she wore a beautiful red dress to the party. She wore a beautiful red dress to the party. She wore a beautiful red dress to the party. So she was going to the party and she chose to wear a red dress because it's beautiful and attractive. She wore a beautiful red dress to the party. Let's go to the next word. The next word is dinner. Dinner. Dinner, the last meal of the day. We have breakfast, lunch and dinner. So let's see the sentence. The family gathered around the table for a delicious dinner of roasted chicken. 
The family gathered around the table for a delicious dinner of roasted chicken. The family gathered around the table for a delicious dinner of roasted chicken. So, as you know, many families, they have at least one meal of the day together. So, most families, they like to get together around the table for a delicious dinner. So, the family gathered around the table for a delicious dinner of roasted chicken or, yeah, or grilled chicken. Drink is the next word. Drink, drink, drink. Let's sit in a sentence. After a long day at work, I like to relax and drink a cup of tea. After a long day at work, I like to relax and drink a cup of tea. After a long day at work, I like to relax and drink a cup of tea. So, sometimes when we work all the day and by the end of the day, so we look very tired and we want to relax and drink a cup of tea. Let's go to the next word. The next word is drive, drive, drive to drive a car, for example. So, she learned how to drive a car when she turned 16. She learned how to drive a car when she turned 16. She learned how to drive a car when she turned 16. So, I see in this new generation that uh, people, especially especially children, so they learn very early to drive. So at the age of 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 16. So uh, this example say that she, a girl, learned how to drive a car when she was, when she was 16, when she turned 16. But it's dangerous and it's illegal because I think the legal age of driving in most countries is 18. She learned how to drive a car when she turned 16. Let's go to the next word. The next word is drop, drop, drop. Let's see it in a sentence. She accidentally dropped her phone and the screen cracked. She accidentally dropped her phone and the screen cracked. She accidentally dropped her phone and the screen cracked so drop something it means to let it fall down so she didn't want to f uh, to let down to let her phone fall down but accidentally without uh, wanting that so she accidentally dropped her phone and the screen cracked so it was broken the screen was broken so she accidentally dropped her phone and the screen cracked Let's go to the next word. The next word is dry, dry, dry. So we have wet, the opposite of dry. Hang your wet clothes out in the sun to allow them to dry. Hang your wet clothes out in the sun to allow them to dry. Hang your wet clothes out in the sun to allow them to dry. So they say put the clothes on the line, the washing line out in the sun to let them become dry so uh, this is the meaning of this sentence hang your hang your wet clothes out in the sun to allow them to cry to dry sorry let's go to the next word duck 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 is an animal in a sentence the mother duck led her ducklings across the pond the mother duck led her ducklings across the pond the mother duck led her ducklings across the door. So the mother duck led, guide her ducklings, ducklings, the small duck, uh, ducks. Across the pond, pond, pond is a lake, a place where there is water. The mother duck led her ducklings across the pond. <clears throat> That's the end of today's lesson. Thanks for watching. See you soon.